Pierre Serrain, welcome at TEDx Nijmegen. Thank you. Uh, you had a wonderful talk with some uh, companions on stage, humanoids. Indeed, yes, some uh, small robots that we call uh, now, or now robots. They are about 60 centimeters high. Mm. And uh, well, these robots are, we saw that on stage, they are able to dance, of course, but most importantly, they are able to well, move, walk, and interact with you. They are able to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. So they can talk and they can understand what you're telling them. So you can trigger some behaviors and they can live autonomously. So yes, they are, they are very strong at uh, interactions with humans. Yeah. And what function can they have in health and healthcare? So in healthcare, that's a very good question. We, we kind of discovered by chance that it was very useful for, autis for autism. Um, because the, the main reason probably is that autis autistic kids have a difficulty to process too many information at the same time. So even a conversation with an adult is, is, is painful for, for such a kid because they see your lips moving, they hear your voice, they can see your, your eyes moving, so it's, and maybe your body language. So it's just too much information to process. Um, a robot has a much more simple face, so they it's much easier for them to enter into interaction with the robots. So that's a good step. And once they do something, once they communicate with the robot, they are ready to go to the next step. So communicating with humans. And well, that's the way the, the therapy works today. Yeah. And you, you already have experience with that on autistic children? Y yeah, well, that's actually something, uh, that's a field that is uh, already working. I mean, we already have uh, schools and of course, we have re research centers working with that, but we also have uh, schools working uh, with, uh, with our robots uh, in the US and in the UK so far, but um, uh, this is expanding. Of course, we, we move gradually because we don't want to force people into robotics. Uh, we are very cautious uh, to, to have people like our robots and want our robots. We don't want to push them too hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, that's already working, yeah. yeah. And then, what will be the next step? And the next step is probably something we all hear about, which is uh, elderly care. Um, we know that uh, our parents, we need to care our parents, our grandparents, that's, that's happening today. But it's going to be mandatory in the future. I mean, the, the support rate, which means the number of people able to support older people um, well, it's increasing or decreasing. I don't know how to put that, mm -hmm. but basically there are, there are going to be m many more older people than younger people are able to support them. So either we will work full time supporting our, our parents and grandparents or we will have robots. Um, I think people will prefer not to work full time for their relatives mm -hmm. and they will still want a job. They will still want to have some creative activity outside of their family. Mm -hmm. So we need robots. And it's not so much the future, actually. Uh, robots can already have a, do some pretty decent job at, uh, in communications, in being a nice interface to um, trigger many devices at home. Mm -hmm. So if you have uh, something connected to the internet, like, uh, I don't know, you can connect to the internet your lights, your curtains, uh, the doors, um, any anything can be activated by the robot. So you tell the robot. Is it, is it, is it difficult for, for the elderly people to work with the robot or to, to cooperate? Um, well, it's not actually. We, we were very skeptical at the beginning and we were very cautious. And when we first talked about robots to older people, well, usually they're like, well, I don't need a robot. Why, why do you want me to, to use such a machine? I'm, I'm not a machine myself. And then we introduced now this, this little robot. Um, and they begin to like it and they begin to ask, can I have one at home? And, and they begin to ask, what can it do for me? And so, so we were skeptical and we were cautious, but in the end they want it. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want first people to like, like our robots and we do everything so that they, they like our robots to make them cute, small and acceptable. And, uh, little by little we are progressing, we are preparing a taller robot uh, that will assist you at home, may be able to carry things and so forth. But I guess there's a, we're, we're on the right track. Okay. And, and, 